let's break down the Chicago Bears initial 53-man roster, all right? We are past OTAs. We're past mandatory minicamps. We haven't gotten to training camp yet, so I'm going to have more iterations of this, but let's break down the 53-man roster before we get to training camp. So what is going on, y'all? Fox Sports all back at it with another video talking to Force Man NFL here to talk about Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please hit the subscribe button down below. Please make sure you're following me on my social media platforms. And guys, as always, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so make sure, again, you're subscribed. Best way to support me. And let's just hop right into it. You guys love the whiteboard video, so I'm bringing them back. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We've got the 53-man roster here right in front of you on the whiteboard. And let's just break it down. Let's just break it down. We'll start over here from the left-hand side with the offense and then move over to defense. So at the quarterback position, obviously you got your franchise guy, Justin Fields, and then the backup, P.J. Walker. I could have had the Bears, you know, having and keeping three quarterbacks, but I just thought, you know what, the third quarterback is Nathan Peterman. I really don't think he's worth the roster spot, so... I think the Bears are going to carry just two guys in fields and P.J. Walker. Pretty straightforward and simple. Let's move on. All right, running back spot here. We've got a lot of talented running backs on this roster right now. We've got our initial starter, I believe, Khalil Herbert. You've got the guy you picked up in free agency, Dante Foreman, and Travis Homer as well. And then your rookie running back, Roshan Johnson. Now, Christian Ebner is a guy who I don't see making the roster because, again, we have this running back depth. I don't think we need him. He's not very good. And so, to me, I think we go ahead and we have these four guys um, at the running back position. And I think that's a, a lot of good depth here for guys who can carry the rock. And I think Roshan Johnson is going to take over as a starting running back. But, hey, at this point, we've got the depth. That's all that matters. And so that's the running back spot to me for the initial 53. All right, let's move on to the wide receiver spot. DJ Moore. Darnell Mooney, Chase Claypool, Tyler Scott, those four are pretty much set, locked in. It's really these last two spots here. And I got Equinemius St. Brown and Vilas Jones Jr. taking up those last two. So Dante Pettis, to me, doesn't make the roster. It could happen where Pettis makes it and one of these guys doesn't. But I just feel like with Vilas being a higher draft pick, a third-round draft pick, and ESB having a little bit more consistency, I think Pettis is the odd man out. So that's why I don't have him, and I don't think the Bears carry that many receivers. So that's already six here. I don't think they carry seven. It's a little excessive. So that's why I've got these as the guys that make the 53-man roster from the wide receiver spot. So nothing really, you know, extreme there, if you will. All right, at the tight end spot here, Cole Komet, obviously your starter. Robert Tunyon, Big Bob Tunyon, who you signed in free. You see, he's the backup, and he would be starting on a lot of teams. I mentioned this before. And then Steven Carlson, who you also signed in free agency, I think he's going to be the third tight end. Technically, you could have two, but I think you, you at least want to have at least three tight ends just for safety purposes. So uh, to me, it's pretty straightforward who these three guys are going to be. All right, let's move on now to the offensive linemen. And I got a bunch of names here for you guys, so let's break it all down. All right, so we've got our five starters. I think the five starters are set, which is Braxton Jones, Tevin Jenkins, Cody Whitehair, Nate Davis, and Darnell Wright. All right. For agent signings, rookie signings, you get the point. Then after that, it starts to get, okay, a little bit more complicated. I feel like Lucas Patrick is a lock because he's the backup center after Cody Whitehair. Then you got Larry Borum, who's been a former starter for this team, and I think he's a good depth piece to have. So to me, right there, that's seven, all right? But you need more depth than just seven guys. And so I've got Alex Leatherwood also making the team. We did invest some, you know, resources in him, and I think we're going to give him a little bit more of a shot than we did last year. So now you got eight guys. And I still feel like you probably want to carry a little bit more. So I've got Doug Kramer and Jatai Carter here making the roster. So guys like Dieter Elson, I don't have them playing, making the team, and a couple other guys. I think 10 guys, basically five starters, five backups, at a position that is considered a weakness side, we did improve, but it's still, you know, overall a weak unit. I think you need the depth there. And so I think any one of these guys that are the backups, maybe they pop off and maybe, you know, we have these guys end up starting. Who knows? But I just feel like you can never have enough depth on the offensive line. It's a brutal position. So you want to go ahead and have the necessary resources on the offensive line. So, yeah, I've got them carrying 10. I wouldn't be surprised if they carried less. But that's what I have for right now. All right, fullback spot, Kari blasting game. Pretty straightforward here, people. It's a position that really doesn't get used much, but uh, so we only need one guy, but yeah. And then I just included special teams here. Uh, kicker, Cairo Santos, long snapper, Patrick Scales, and our punter, Trenton Gill, uh, second round, uh, uh, second year player uh, going into this year. So 
uh, to me, pretty straightforward here with the offense and special teams. All right, let's move on to the defense here. All right, we've got at the defensive end spot, Travis Gibson. We've got Demarcus Walker. We signed a free agency, Rasheem Green, and Demarcus Robinson. Now, the defensive end spot is the weakest spot on our roster by far, weakest positional group. We still, still need to improve it, and we still have the opportunity to because we haven't gotten to training camp yet. So this could look different if we sign a Yannick Ngakwe or if we sign another guy, I could see maybe like, you know, Rasheem Green not making it or maybe you just add more to this, um, you know, positional group because you've only got four guys here. We'll see at this point, but I still think there's a chance we add to this group. It's a pretty weak unit, but I still think there's chances, changes to be made. Defensive line group, Andrew Billings, Justin Jones, Javon Dexter, Zach Pickens, and Travis Spell. So three of our draft picks, which has really beefed up the interior of this defensive line, which I love. And then you've got uh, Andrew Billings, your free agent signing, and then Justin Jones, your, uh, who you had from last year. So to me, that's, that's really the defensive line spot for the Bears, which, again, has gotten considerably better after the draft. Linebacker spot, Tremaine Edmonds. TJ Edwards, Jack Sanborn, your three starters. Noah Sewell, your draftee from this year. I think he makes the roster. And then Dylan Cole for depth. All right. Sewell could be taking Jack Sanborn's starting spot. He's been looking pretty good in OTAs and training camp, excuse me, in, in mandatory minicamp. We'll see what that happens there. But I feel like he's the lock to make this roster. And that's kind of how the linebacker spot shakes out. Safety Jaquan Brister, Eddie Jackson, Elijah Hicks, and Kendall Williamson are draft pick from this past draft. And then finally, quarterback spot. You've got Jalen Johnson, Tyreek Stevenson, Kyler Gordon, Terrell Smith, Kendall Vildor, and Josh Blackwell. Yeah, put them carrying six here. So maybe, you know, if you're only carrying four safeties but six cornerbacks, but, you know, you need more cornerbacks than safety. So, so you kind of uh, juggle that there. But if you will, Josh Blackwell, maybe he makes it, maybe he does, and I included him in here because we had an extra spot. We'll see. But for the most part, I feel pretty good about these guys. So let's just count it up real quick just to make sure that we have – the necessary 53, and we didn't go over or under. So two here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So there you have it, folks. We have the exact number we need, the 53-man roster. So again, this is pre-training camp. Things could change, and I probably expect them to change, but this is what I initially have. So let me know what you guys think. Agree, disagree with the initial 53-man roster. Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.